Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, the Stampin' Chick, and today I have a fun, fancy fold card project for you. And I know that you're going to love it. The template itself is absolutely fantastic, and it creates a spectacular card in just minutes. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, let me show you how this card works, okay? So it opens up and tucks into the image up here on the top and then stands up on its own. It's an easel card, super fabulous, quick and simple, and when it's folded up, it's not very thick. It can easily go into an envelope and in the mail so that you can send it out to someone who could use a little hug in the mail or a little pick-me-up. So let me show you how I did this project. What you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. So yes, you can get two of these cards for each sheet of cardstock. So four and a quarter by 11 scored at two and three quarters and five and a half on the long side, which gives you the standard Z fold, okay? And then you're going to need a piece of four inch by five and a quarter inch designer series paper. Now this can be any designer series paper you want, but four, four and a quarter, no, I'm sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. And this will make the inside piece of your card. And then you're going to need a piece of coordinating cardstock that also measures four inches by five and a quarter. So these two are the same size, four inches by five and a quarter. And this one, we're going to adhere to the front panel just like this, so that when it lays flat, it's even with the card and you'll be able to lay it into an envelope. Then you'll also need a piece of three and three quarters by five inch of cardstock or designer series paper or whatever you're wanting to decorate the front of your card. So now in this case, I have hand stamped a designer series paper using the well-dressed stamp set from Celebration. And so I had done that already on this one. And you'll be able to layer the two together. Now, Celebration just ended a couple of days ago. So if you don't already have the well-dressed stamp set, unfortunately, you're not likely to be able to find it. Um, so you can substitute for anything that you have on hand. And I'm actually going to show you a couple of alternative projects that I've made using the same template the same measurements and created a couple of different cards with products that are still currently available so that you can make those if you'd like or just to give you ideas of how you can modify this to suit your needs okay so i've got my handmade designer series paper i have my matte layer and i have my dsp layer and the card base all right so there is the basic components of our card now, I'm also using a piece that's 12 inches of ribbon, and it's an approximate number. Uh, you folks know that typically I would tie these while they're still on the bolt of ribbon, uh, but I wanted to give you a basic guesstimate for the length of it, and it's approximately 12 inches. And then I'm also using the layering circles dies to make my sentiment piece. I've got a layering scallop circle and then the white circle. And this sentiment comes from a good man stamp set. It's right here. Now this stamp set is still currently available and you could certainly use it to create this fabulous card. All right, and then I have stamped and fussy cut the hat from the well-dressed set to use as our stopper. Okay, so basically the elements that you need to worry about for this project are, of course, the card base with the measurements, 
the background piece, these two pieces, and a stopper. Everything else is embellishment, however you would like it to be embellished, all right? So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and assemble this card. So we'll just put this background piece on here. This card is so simple to make. It really, really is. Once you have the basic idea of the measurements, you are good to go. And you'll see from the alternatives that I'm gonna show you that it's perfect for any occasion. This is just a really great fun fold. I love it. Oops, hold on now. See, this is why. This is why I tie it directly from the spool, isn't it? <laughs> Let me try that one more time. There we go. Now we got it. So 12 inches is plenty enough. If you cut it off of your spool, um, you could tie a, a knot with 12 inches. There we go. Snip, snip. Now when it comes to adhering this panel on, there are a couple of things that I want to caution you about. Uh, one is where you're putting the adhesive on the back of this layer, and the other is where you're putting the adhesive on the front of this one. So let me just tell you, what I do is use tear and tape, first of all, because this panel gets a lot of wear and tear, right? Opening and closing. So I put a strip of tear and tape across the top of this panel, and notice that I'm leaving a gap on either side. That's because, remember, this uh, dimension is four inches, and this one is four and a quarter right because we wanted a little border so you want to make sure that you're leaving enough space on either side to accommodate that and then on this panel I'm gonna flip it over and if this is the bottom I'm gonna put a piece of tear and tape across the entire length of the bottom and then I'm gonna go up each side just a little bit okay you see here this will leave us still a little bit of room if we're laying these side by side. It's okay that there's going to be a gap there, that's fine. But with this on the top of this one and this on the bottom here, it pretty well makes a perimeter of adhesive on this panel, which is exactly what we want and need. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull the tear and tape. Here we go. Whoop, listen, don't split on me. Just come off. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now we can put it on. So what I like to do when I'm putting this layer on is I want to push this panel down so that I'm basically looking at a card front. And then from there, you're, you're lining it up the same way you would any other standard card front okay so I'm lining it up with the edges here and I know that it's lined up with the edges here and then I'm just gonna give it a really good press before I let go and then we're done okay good to go alright now I'm gonna use some dimensionals on my sentiment you don't have to you can do what you want. In fact, if you want to decorate it up at this point, this is a standard card front. So you can decorate this however you want to decorate it. Okay? So I'm just going to put a little sentiment onto this black scalloped circle. And then do that and adhere it to our card just like so. All right, so now our card front is done. And for the stopper, this is super easy as well. You're going to stick a Stampin' Dimensional 
on the back of the stopper and you're going to want to put it relatively close to the top of your designer series paper okay so I've got it almost right at the top and then this will just stick in there like that and there's your card all right easy peasy right I mean that didn't take us any time at all and then for the envelope I've got the shoe and the hat stamped and it's ready to go right super cute okay so now for a sentiment uh, if you're wanting room to be able to write a cute little note right or just some kind of a greeting you have several options with this card first off you could put a square of whisper white cardstock right here you could put a square here and here now you'd still have to make it two separate pieces because remember this is going to do this number okay so you'd want two separate pieces if you're gonna write on both or you can put it on these two pieces here or you can just put it on the back side okay so it's entirely up to you now when you're shipping this card I don't recommend putting it in the folder like this because a person who's receiving it might not understand that it's supposed to sit like that so I would just stick it in the mail like this okay all right friends there you have it I hope that you enjoyed that little project it's quick and simple and now as promised I'm going to show you a couple of alternative projects that I've done so they all have the same idea they're the same basic concept in this case I used a sentiment strip this is one of those stitched uh, elements from the dress to impress stamp and die bundle and uh, in this case I used designer series paper instead of my own hand stamped and instead of using a different color of cardstock for the front panel I used the same color and made it one color of card base with two different designer series papers I also used a little bit bigger of a circle and sentiment piece because I wanted the hello fabulous in there and I stamped a little background right on that piece so that it didn't look quite so plain so there is one alternative and then this one is a fabulous little birthday card again I've used a regular designer series paper for the front and the inside this time I added a little bit of decoration across the top I've got a ribbon piece and then my sentiment here and then I just used one of the balloons from our double balloon punch that's in the catalog and just like the others it sits beautifully all right so you can see there's three different three totally different projects using the exact same template and the same dimensions and you can make any theme of cards that you want all right guys I hope that you enjoyed this project uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it are you gonna use it for something do you have something in mind already Make sure that if you're not already a subscriber that you subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. And uh, visit my blog where I'll put the dimensions as well as the instructions so that you can see uh, written down the dimensions for everything and, and easier to remember. And that's at stampandcheck.tn.blogspot.com. I'll have the link down in the description below so you can go right to this project tutorial. Be sure to check it out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest uh, using the hashtag The Stampin' Chick. You can find me on most social media networks that way. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye for now.